Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you're familiar with my content, then this video will be somewhat different than the usual. Um, I will be talking about my experience thus far using Byte. It's an at-home personal aligners system of where it's basically like braces. I am straightening my teeth at home um, without constantly having to go to the dentist. And with this treatment, this at-home treatment, it will take me anywhere from like three or maybe five months to straighten my teeth, which is a lot faster in comparison to um, traditional braces or things like Invisalign. And the thing that helps speed up that process is this right here. It's called the Hyperbite. So with this Hyperbite, um, essentially I just put it in my mouth right here and then I press this button and it starts to vibrate. So yeah, this is wireless and it requires a C charger. I can literally use the same charger I use to charge my MacBook laptop. And I use this about once or twice a day. Um, typically I will use it twice a day if I just change to a new aligner, because again, when you're changing to a new aligner in the system, um, your teeth will have at first a bit of trouble adjusting to it because it's totally new and might cause some discomfort. So using this can help with not only speeding up the process, but also with discomfort. So before I officially get started with this video, I wanted to share with you all my dental history. Um, so back in 2020, I think it was like around April, I got into a major biking accident and I lost some teeth in the back. And till this day, I can't really chew on this side of my, on, on this side of my mouth because um, teeth are still missing there. I still got to get dental implants. But at the time I could not afford to get dental implants because they were asking for $11,000 upfront, no payment installment, none of that. Um, but I've always wanted braces because this tooth right here is the only crooked tooth that I have. And it has prevented me from years from being confident in my smile and it's greatly affected my self-esteem and whatnot. And so I went ahead and took my health into my own hands for once, rather than always depending on my parents to book appointments for me when it comes to medical expenses and things like that. Oh, and I almost forgot. So tying back into the biking accident that I had a little over a year ago, um, I also lost some teeth back here on my bottom row as well. And so I have bridges on the bottom, on my bottom teeth on this side. And if you have any type of dental work like bridges or crowns, um, I don't believe you will be eligible to use bites or other systems similar to it, like Invisalign. Don't quote me on this, um, do your own research. But from my experience, I told them that, hey, I have bridges here and then a crown on like this tooth because from the biking accident, it also chipped one of the teeth down here. And they said, okay, well, we're only going to send you aligners for your top row because as I said earlier, I still need to get dental work up here because I was going to at least get dental implants up here instead of bridges. So that's why um, I kind of got lucky by delaying the process of getting implants because had I not, I wouldn't have been eligible to receive this treatment. I also wanted to show you all um, my journey on the Byte website. So it gives you like a virtual animated uh, showing of what your teeth, how your teeth are moving with each individual step. So I'm just gonna put up a graphic here so you can see what that looks like for my particular dental journey and all of my dental history that I was talking about with losing some teeth on this side of my mouth. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about because I can't just open my mouth and be like, can't really see it, the shadows. So before you can even get your aligners and start your process, you need to have the impression kit. Now I will plug in a video here that I had to post on TikTok. I'm an ambassador for this brand, by the way. Um, and since I am an ambassador, they gave me a code that can really help you guys out to get a certain percent off of your purchase, which I will link in the description box down below if you are truly interested in being a part of this process. But anywho, um, when you are getting your impression kit in the mail, I would highly recommend that you set up a call with those over bites because the first impression I did, I did wrong. So one's like pink and the other one is like white, I believe. And then you mix them together and it's supposed to create a solid color. But as you can see in this video, um, when I was mixing it, it did not mix to a solid color. And so when I sent them that first round of my impression kits, 
um, they said that this wasn't good enough. I had to redo it. And so the second time I had to set up like a Zoom call with the people over Byte so they could see that I was properly mixing it together and getting the right impression needed for my teeth. So make sure you do that properly. Do not repeat my mistake. And if you have the opportunity to uh, set up a consultation with them to make sure that you are getting an accurate impression. Now, as I am filming this video, it has been a little over, I want to say a month and a half or maybe a month and three weeks since I started using the Byte system. Um, just to show you guys how I already have them on and then take them off. So I take my thumb and then I take my pointer finger and go all the way to the back like here. And then I also take like the skin of this finger to pinch it down so that the top of it can just easily come down faster. I hope that makes sense, but here's how I take it out. Just like that. So here's how it looks. And yeah, this is how I put it back inside. So it's very simple. Looks like that. Uh, boom. So yeah, it is very convenient to have because for several years when I was in uh, fifth through 12th grade, I was a flute player. I was a flautist, first chair, and I didn't want to potentially mess up my aperture and lose, up, lose my chair. So I never got braces in high school. And another reason as to why was because at the time my parents couldn't afford to get both me and my sibling braces. So they had to choose between the two of us and they chose my other, my, and they chose my sibling. But um, yeah, so that's why it took me so long to get braces. Here I am in my twenties, finally getting it. Now I will say that when I first started my bike journey, I was so paranoid on how I was going to put it in because when you first put it in, it puts a lot of pressure on your teeth because your your teeth are not used to having pressure around that particular area so you got to get used to it um it takes about i would say around the third or fourth day of putting on the aligner and no longer like stings to put it on now when you go from a liner to a liner per week to show you guys what that looks like so this box has all the aligners that i will have throughout my journey. So I've already went through step one, step two, step three, step four, et cetera. And so instead of throwing away my old aligners, I just put them back in their package because I don't know whether or not I might need that in the future or if they like to recycle their materials or something. So I went ahead and kept it around. Another thing I will say about bite is that when you take them out for when you have to eat, because you have to take them out when you eat, not so much when you drink, but when you eat, um, only keep them out for like a max of two hours because if you keep them out longer than that your your teeth they start to shift back to their their original placement and that's that's the last thing you want and that's another reason why you want to keep your old aligners because let's say that you're out eating and you put your aligners not in you know its case but you just place it on a napkin and then you throw away that napkin forgetting it was on there well, it's going to take bite a while to resend you the aligner that you need. And so it's helpful to at least have your old aligners rather than throwing those away as soon as you're done with them. Also, I wanted to throw into this video some hygiene tips on how to go about this. So with your hyperbite, make sure to thoroughly wash that with soap and water, but don't expose the bottom half to any liquid because it is not waterproof and it might start malfunctioning. Um, same thing can be said with your aligners. Use your own toothpaste and toothbrush to clean it. So another thing that came with my uh, Bite box was this. It's called the, Hype, the Bright Bite Whitens Teeth Clean Cleans Aligners. So to show you how this works, basically I take out my aligner. Oh, ah. oh gosh, saliva. But yeah, take out the aligner and then I pump this in here take a little bit amount. I typically only pump on the center of the aligner as opposed to the edges because it only really matters that your, you know, your teeth are white for the ones that show when you smile, not the ones that are all the way in the back. And I put it here. And boom. Now I will say that I feel like this product would be a lot more effective if it was a gel instead of a foam. And the reason being is that when I was popping it into my mouth, a lot of the foam just kind of 
like rises up and doesn't get to actually touching touching the teeth and doing the work it needs to do to widen it. So I feel like this will be a lot better if it was like a paste or gel as opposed to a foam that dissolves so quickly. So that's one thing I hope that they can come out with uh, later with their newer products. But anywho, the system for Byte it is fairly affordable in comparison to other alternatives. And it's a lot faster to um, straighten up your teeth at the end of the day. And also a fun fact about this company, apparently, uh, what's her name from Scandal? Carrie Washington. She is the creative director for Byte, which is Nice to know. I mean, she's fairly, I guess it makes sense because, you know, she's fairly uh, known for her teeth and her smile or her, her teeth in general when she's uh, acting. She's always like, I hope that was not disrespectful to Carrie Washington. I love her, but she always acts with her teeth. That's her signature. Oh, I almost forgot. So another thing that um, comes in the box with the Hyperbite, I believe it was packaged in there, is this. It's called a Chewy. Um, I haven't really used it much, but Essentially, when you have new aligners, um, sometimes there might be what's called flushing of where there's too much of a gap between the end of the aligner and your teeth, which shouldn't happen because that shows that it's not properly aligned with your teeth. And that means that you'll probably have to reach back out to the company to get new aligners that are more um, accurate to your how your teeth are currently aligned. So with the Chewy, it basically like puts a dent in your in your aligners at the very end so that is more aligned with the edge of your teeth. So I would just put this in my mouth like so and chew. I hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you would do it. But yeah, that's about it. As you can see with my aligners, they are very, very clear. Like it does not look like I'm wearing anything which is great because I literally got these uh, braces without my, without my parents even knowing. Cause I knew, I knew that they would be against the idea of me getting braces outside of constantly visiting a doctor, well, a dentist's office. Um, but I didn't like the idea of doing that because I don't like being in the dentist's office in general. I just want to, anyway, that, that's just me personally. They're, once I post this video on YouTube, they'll be like, well, you got braces and didn't tell us and we're going to have a whole conversation about it. But that will be by the time my teeth are already straight. And speaking of which, I will create an update video showing how my teeth are. And it should be somewhere over here, tagged over here or over here, however YouTube works. Um, but yeah. I hope this video was helpful. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to comment down below if you have any other questions regarding bites. Check out my other content on here. I give scholarship and um, school related advice. So if you are a student or know of a student who could really benefit from that, let them know. And yeah, bye.